show. Since that's the biggest thing you're doing <laughs> right now, eh? Right. I have a new show. Should I look at you or the camera? You can look at me. Okay. I have a new show in Ibro. Mm -hmm. And the show itself is called Mommy 101. Mm -hmm. So how this show came about is, of course, because I'm a mom. Mm. But also, um, I've been wanting to produce my own content for a long time now. So it's your own production, actually? Yes, it's my production. Ah. So I've been wanting to produce my own content for a long time now. And I started putting it out there. And when I say my son, I want to produce, I want to produce. So finally, I heard that Ibru were taking in new content. You know, it's not easy to get into TV, a TV platform, but that's a huge platform. So when I heard they're looking for content, I pitched an idea to them and they liked it. And I didn't see it happening as fast as it did, but like a week later, I was in the studio recording already. So it's a show about um, for, let me say, youngish mums, or uh, it's just a platform where we are learning together. And for someone who's not a mom, it may not interest them so much. But at the same time, it's a very interesting show because I have dads who are watching. I have people who stopped, like uh, parenting. Mm small kids a long time ago mm -hmm. but it's a really good show if you're a mom you should watch it very informative very fun very easy it's a good show it airs on sundays but it's going to change hopefully to fridays on ebru tv ah. why not because before you became a mother yeah you're very big on entertainment yeah so i would think uh, if you really wanted from the beginning to produce a show why didn't you start with entertainment an entertainment show or something like that um when you say entertainment what i'm doing is also an entertainment yeah i i get like maybe things to do with uh, um celebrity lifestyle sh events or something but that's never sort. really been my thing like how many events have you seen me at I don't go to very many events unless I have to or unless I feel it's going to uh, grow me as a brand in some way. So I took this one because when you're producing a show, when you're creating content, mm -hmm. you look for something that's not already there. Or at least that's how I do it. Ah, okay. no, no. So I saw this gap. No one is, is, uh, is uh, looking into moms by themselves and it's a huge market everyone is giving birth every day no no so i took my chance with that and it's the first show of its kind in kenya so i'm pioneering in that no no so it's a good move for me i think so are you like i've checked out a few shows eh? oh you have How, yeah. what do you think uh, not bad good <laughs> <laughs> okay. One thing I've noticed. Yeah. Okay, maybe I haven't been up to date with them. I have noticed a couple of celebrities. Yeah. Um, so is that the main focus or are you going to also to focus on other women? That's not the main focus. There are very many stories about moms that need to be told. Mm -hmm. There are moms who have uh, kids at a very, very young age. There are moms who have kids when they're way older. There are moms taking care of special need children. As in, the stories are endless. But as for right now, it's a new show. Mm -hmm. And it's a show on uh, not one of the big three stations. It's a big station and it's growing very well. But it's not one of the big three. So the reason why I'm focusing on celebrities right now is because number one, people are very interested in their lives. And number two, they will bring in the ratings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm thinking like a producer. Ah. Yes. Okay. So now since you're into producing, yeah. what happens to your acting? My acting is very much there. It's my first love. Mm -hmm. But um, for a very long time, I, I didn't want to do anything else because I thought it would... You see the way you're asking what happened to the act? Very many people that I look up to already. Mm -hmm. Someone like Dorothy Getuba and a couple of other producers as well. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to like overshadow my acting. If you mm -hmm. look at someone like Jessica Alba. Mm -hmm. Jessica Alba is... You, you'll always know Jessica Alba as an actress. But she already ha she has her own line of products geared towards yeah, moms and kids. It's called the honest thing. She, she's making a lot of money. She's out making of it. billions. No, no. Yeah. But at the same time, she's still known as an actress. So that will always be there for me. But I want to branch out and do as much as I can while I can. So are you focusing on any acting projects at the moment or is it just the show, your TV show? The show is taking up a lot of my time because as I mentioned, I am producing it. So I'm mm. doing basically everything by myself. So if anyone wants to intern for me, but um, the, sh the acting that I really want to do is the movie that I'm also producing. Ah, you have a movie coming up. Yes, I have a movie coming up. You should know this. Mm -hmm. But there's a movie that I'm uh, co-producing with That's Nick. why we called you here so that you can tell us. Yeah. 
a movie that I'm co-producing with Nick Mutoma. Ah. Yes, and it's in the works. Is it that thing uh, with him and also Martin Kimanti or something? Amma, that's a different project. No, no, also. that's a reality show of their own. But this is a movie, an actual okay. scripted movie. So it's in the scripting st uh, stages right now. You know, when you're making a movie, the most important thing is the script, is the story. Mm -hmm. So you really want to get that locked down. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm up to in terms so can, of when acting. can we expect it premiere? God willing, inshallah, it will be there before the year ends. Ah, okay. Yeah. Before I knew you, eh? Yeah. The first time I saw you, actually I saw you on a TV program. I think it was Changes. That was actually the first time I ever saw you and I was like, wow, okay. So how the hell did you end up on TV? <laughs> how the hell? Mm. It was actually Changing Times and that yeah. was my first uh, TV mm. appearance. I was in university mm. and uh, obviously I didn't have a job. So asking my mom for money all the time, it got to me. I started thinking, really, I'm, I, was, I think I was 20. Mm -hmm. I think I was 20 and like, I'm 20. Nikona Mikono, Nikona Migu, and I'm asking for money from my mom. Mm -hmm. So you see her struggling and you're there asking, asking every month for rent. So I decided to just try something. And it just happened that I saw the auditions. And I'd never even thought that I could act. But I saw the auditions happening for Changing Times and I was such a big fan. So I just went. And then there were like 800 people there. We all auditioned. Um, I went to a couple of friends of mine. They went home. Um, like they thought the line was too long. And it really was too long. Imagine 800 people. Mm. So I went, I auditioned. Then I went home. The next episode I saw someone who had auditioned with me. In the, in the show. So I was like, oh, I didn't get it. But then afterwards, I got a call and I did get it. And I started and I was horrible. But then I kept trying and trying until my storyline grew. And yeah, it just happened. One thing that was very particular about Changing Times, yeah. it, has, it had beautiful people. <laughs> Everyone is a beautiful person. You know, I think, I think that's, that's why I said it in this. quotes. Eh? Uh, yeah. That's why I put it in quotes. Eh? Like, people, people who, people in society, <laughs> consider easy to the eye yeah. everyone in changing times was like that eh? yeah true true yes yes true. so do you think that i was chosen case, yeah? for that yes i wouldn't know i didn't choose myself for mm. that it may be the case mm -hmm. you. i've never mm. i've never asked but my acting was horrible let me say that again so if they had chosen me just for that fact, I think I would have been fired. But then I got better at what I did. So maybe in the beginning, that's what I was chosen for. But I think also my talent spoke from, for itself later on. Think about yourself eh? and the way you look. Eh? A lot of people consider you very beautiful. <laughs> I bet you know that. Eh? I, okay. You get that a lot. I bet you even... Someone told you as you're coming up. Nope. Really? I don't get, uh, I keep saying this. Nobody ever approaches me. Wow. Even me uh, dating Giuliani right now, I approached him. Oh, that's interesting. No, I can't I, wait to get to that baby. Huh? Nobody ever approaches me. So no, nobody has told me anything on my way up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Tawa, I get that point. Eh? But do you feel along your career, yeah. which has been very successful in my heart. Eh? Do you think by your looks, you guys have given you a fa favors for that? I would really like to say no. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because all my bosses have been women. Uh -huh. My first boss was Jennifer Gatero. Mm -hmm. My second boss was Alison Gibuini. Mm -hmm. My third boss was Epi, Ga Epi uh, Gatero. All my bosses have been women. So. Unless you guys know something I don't. <laughs> I, I honestly want to believe that I have gotten where I am based on my merits and nothing else. And you, you yourself, have you ever used that as leverage? Like let's say for example, eh, when you're driving and probably you are a bit of a speeding and some NTCA guys <laughs> came and told, stopped you and told you, Yo, yeah, you know, you're doing you know, 120 in a 50 mile. Yeah. 
and then you just smiled at the NTC guys and told him, "Come on, don't do this." Have you ever used that as leverage? I, I don't I don't know. You know what? I I, I smile and I laugh a lot with uh, with people. So if if it happens that they <laughs> like my laughter, <laughs> but I don't uh, go out and intentionally. It might not even be your laughter. You know it might be your face. Yeah, so maybe they, I don't know, I don't say, oh, look at my face and let me go. <laughs> no, but I don't know. I don't know if it's happened. Nobody's ever told me, Nenda uh, went in Rambo. <laughs> but I don't know. But I haven't intentionally done it. Have I? No. I don't think so. Okay. 